understanding, though, of the need to develop angles and not come straight down the middle. Although that left hand landed for back out and maybe hurt Floyd Mayweather. In the eighth round of their fight at Wembley Arena in London, Arter Betterbeef took the greatest shots Anthony Yardy had to offer, yet still fought back with more. It was a thrilling fight, and at times it appeared as though both fighters were attempting to kill the other with a single blow. Even when the brave Yardy appeared to be in pain, Betterbeef had a response. Betterbeef had tremendous accuracy in addition to a little more power than Yardy did. At the conclusion of the fifth round and in the seventh, Yardy survived two really trying situations, but in the end Berterbeef captured him. By the eighth round, when he was knocked to the ground, Yardy was broken from being beaten. Finally, his buddy and trainer Tunda J called time to spare Yardy from a defeat he did not merit. Since his defeat to Alexander Usyk in the heavyweight quarterfinals of the London Olympics in 2012, Betterbeef had not competed in the UK. He had worked out at the TKO gym in London while on that trip, where he had met a young Yardy. There was even a rumor that they had sparred there. Betterbeef couldn't recall the event. However, it is difficult to criticize the Russian's professional actions, given that he lives in Canada. He has 18 wins, 18 knockouts, and three world title belts in 18 fights. Given that his career has lasted for almost 10 years, the only criticism that can be leveled at him is that he hasn't been active enough. However, it would be reasonable to conclude that at 38, he has peaked, as some recent injuries may indicate. Frank Warren, Yardy's promoter, took a chance by scheduling this fight. He gave up a lot of early rounds before coming on strong and almost stopping Sergei Kovalev in his first world title fight in 2019, and he then punched himself out as he was stopped himself. After losing to Lyndon Arthur the next year and unable to move past first gear, something clicked for him, and he proved it with a convincing four-round knockout victory against Betterbeev. There was no space for hesitation. As Betterbeef stalked him, Yardy started off in an almost frenzied manner, buzzing and flicking a jab. Yardy successfully connected with a left hook off the ropes twice as Betterbeef entered the ring before spinning away, but the Russian's punches had an unsettling impact, particularly the body shot he delivered shortly before the first round's conclusion and the opening jab he landed. The second round was excellent. When Yardy was forced into a corner, a strong right to the side of the head struck him. Initially, Yardy was successful with a left hook. The champion was forced to back off by Yardy's exchanges with him, albeit Betterbeev later in the round connected with a strong left. In the third round, Betterbeev began to gain the upper hand by striking Yardy in the body and successfully connecting his jab and left hook. Every time Yardy missed, he was made to pay, and just before the bell, he was taken down by a powerful left hook. At the beginning of the fourth round, the Russian went after Yardy, standing close and landing hard left and right punches. Yardy punched his way out after being backed into the ropes. At one point, Yardy threw Betterbeev across the ring and pursued him, but the Russian had devised a trap and was waiting for him with a right hand that was wielding a hammer. Despite Betterbeev's pinpoint accuracy and peach of an uppercut to end the round, Yardy was doing all right. By this time, Yardy's right eye was fast closing, and Betterbeev's left eye was severed. In the sixth round, Yardy made an effort to push the pace, and Betterbeev mostly tolerated him. When Betterbeev managed to trap Yardy in a corner once more, he unloaded, landing powerful shot after heavy shot. Yardy once more found a punch to remain in it and uppercut, but he looked severely hurt, but the eighth was going too far. A powerful right hand to the ear sent Yardy to the ground, and a subsequent right hand sent him down in a slouch that made it obvious that the game was finished. Yardy overcame the count, but turned around and headed back to his corner instead of toward referee Steve Gray. He informed Gray he wanted to continue fighting despite being severely injured, but a Jay climbed the ring steps to halt Betterbeef as he went for the finish. The time of completion was 2 o'clock. This is Boxing Sports Zone. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos and updates. Thank you.